like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Gotta get my cake up, a lot of shit be going down. Gotta keep my head up. Looking in the mirror, all I see is the king. Run my name, I'm legit. Used to send my bitch in the jails with cocaine by the zip. She stuffed so much white in her pussy, her babies came out mixed. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday, March 15th. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all the Pisces out there. You know what I'm saying? I just want to, you know, give some good energy. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people been asking. People hit me up all the time. You know what I'm saying? They ask me about different things and battles and whoop de woo. And I never really be like, when's my birthday or tell things like that. If you want to hit me up on the cash app, I will leave it right here, you know what I'm saying? Send me a little lunch money. It's lunch money on the brunch money. If you choose to, not begging. So let's get it together, right? Um, whew, Man, there's been so much going on. I've been out of town for a couple of days. Actually, one of my um, grandmamas passed, you know what I'm saying, this week. And uh, it's been a long week, but you know, things have been good. You know, family's doing good, shit like that. Been moving and grooving, but uh, we right back to it, man. So, um. URL, 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 URL. Uh, we're seeing and hearing a lot of the stuff that's in the spotlight and with the app versus the YouTube and then the people that's defending the app and the people that's saying I don't mess with the app no more. I did a um, blog about the app not too long ago with my thoughts, just my thoughts and my premise of what was going on and a lot of people was commenting. A lot of people was responding and giving their thoughts about whether they had the app, cancel the app, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, they, about the content on the app, a lot of people, nobody wants to watch wrestling podcasts, DNA's podcast, you know what I'm saying, I've been seeing that catching a lot of heat, because, um, and from what a lot of people that I was reading is, they was dropping that joint more than, like, as much or as more than they was dropping the battles, and if you're a battle rap fan, you know, to get merged into that, and I'm forced this content, if it's something that people don't want to see, they just don't want to see, they're here for battles, niggas are here for battles and battle rap, right? So, they dropped Redemption card. In a matter, Redemption 2 card, in a matter that people always say you shouldn't drop it. Why would you wait two, three months to drop a card or a month or two and drop everything the same day? Now nobody gets their individual shiny. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. These battles is just thrown everywhere. You can't even really keep up with them. You know what I'm saying? And I did see some of the battles on the card, but it's like, bro, like, how can I keep up with all of these battles moving, moving, moving? But I've, I've been said that before. Like I say, y'all should have a release schedule. Y'all should drop battles in sequential order. Y'all dropping them all together. I guess you think motherfuckers is gonna catch if you throw five things at them. They only got two hands. How do you think these niggas is catching them? I don't know. Who's running shit over there? Smack, White, Troy Mitchell, uh, Eric Beasley, Chico DeBarge, which one of you niggas is running shit over there? Like, why, why is y'all letting all the battles just come out at one time? Like, what the fuck is going on right here? If you niggas could block other battles, you should be able to release yours in a sequential order. But that's another story altogether. So I watched two battles off this card, right? Geechee Gotti versus Jay Mills and uh, Swamp versus um, Clean Paper, right? So. Clean paper, you know what I'm saying, he, he got washed in this battle. But I heard about it before and I really spoke on it, so I'm not really going to go too much on him, but I'm going to say this, you know, in the battles that I've seen clean paper back in since he's been making this new run, he's been doing his thing. So I feel like he was battling too much. It's really no excuse, but, you know, when you battle, I don't know clean paper to battle every month like that. So not saying he was, but it's, this just was not a good performance. You know what I'm saying? It just was not on no level. Swamp 3-0. But more importantly, Jay Mills. Jay Mills, man. I remember when this battle was about to be booked. I seen you all on Twitter. You don't really tweet that much, but I seen you all on Twitter. Whoever thinks I'm gonna lose, tell them to get in here. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. Make y'all stories. He was talking to the bloggers, like make y'all blogs or conspiracy theories and narratives. That's why I was gonna lose. I simply said, 
Me personally, I'm sure a lot of other bloggers had things to say too. But I personally said I haven't really seen you win a battle since you've been back. Like you don't win battles, bro. Like your material is so dated. No, no, no. Bro, this shit is dated, my nigga. You rapping like it's 2005 and it's 2023. Yo, you might have the first performance that I've seen ever, but in a long time. If ever, you know what I'm saying? We have three rounds of material and nobody reacted to not even a single book. Yo, how do you do that? Like, how do you even do that? I don't even know how that's possible. Like, how is it possible to have three rounds of material that nobody reacted to at all? And when Gishi Gotti gave you a punchline, a punchline, that she stuffed so much white in her, her kids came out mixed. He said, I didn't mean to give you this. That was, I just gave him one line. Now let me get back to the throwaways. The man beat you with throwaways. But see, the thing is, right, this leads back to URL. What did Jay Mills do to deserve a Geechee Gotti to begin with? This was, he was only booked, so he couldn't battle on RBE. Now, how stupid does that look? I'm going to just be honest with you. I call that a call, so I can't spoil it. It is what it is. But you, you, you didn't even have to book this shit. Like, why would you book him versus Geechee Gotti knowing he had no chance on it? At all. I got zero chance from when it was the call was made. Yo, we gonna book He had no chance to win. You booked him versus him knowing he would lose every round. And this is the type of shit I'm talking about. So you got niggas like J Mills doing that, you got clean paper doing that, and these are this is the app that you're trying to push people to pay for. As a consumer, a lot of them are concerned. They're like, what direction is this going in? Is the app gonna be live streamed? I heard there's talks about it, but dog, this is the content that y'all are putting on here. Gichi Gotti 3-0, 4-0, 15-0. That's not even a competitive battle. This man got smoked in every round. You can kind of like tune out his round after like a minute and a half of it. This nigga's got to get no reaction. And I understand some people be having these long setups that take a long time to get to the punch. But nigga, his whole setup, his whole everything was just, he from Nutty Block, so I came with Nutty Bars. My nigga, Paul, no, a absolutely not. Absolutely. Absolutely fucking not. I could have came up with better material than that for Gishi Yadi, and I'm not even a goddamn battle. Absolutely not. What are we doing here? So, it's just so, 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 so much. And this is the reason why, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, you see a lot of battle rappers, like, wanting to make moves. Like, yo, they're looking at this shit like, what is going on here? You booking niggas like Jay Mills, and you got other niggas on a contract who's not even getting these type of looks, that can't even wish to get these kind of looks on these kind of stages and you bringing somebody in that's not even good overpaying them to go out there and lose every round what do you think that makes people who would love that shot how do you think that makes them feel like I, this is this is real talk like i'm not even capping how do you think if you've been putting in years and years of work you can't never get on these headline cards and they throw him on the car i don't care how long he's been doing it i don't care about none of that i'm talking about right now in current times jml's not cooking like that why <laughs> I understand why, you know what I'm saying, when ARP was booking him, you know what I'm saying, he was booking him, it was what it was. Nobody else was, look, was giving him that look. He was trying to get him in the groove. It didn't go nowhere, and, he, you know, he's cool with him going. But now, y'all gonna book him just so he don't rap over there. Look, there's some things that y'all don't need to embellish, man. Just let it happen. If he wants to go over there, let him be over there. Let him go wherever he want. But booking somebody that you know is not gonna win, there is no way, absolutely none, that y'all thought Jay Mills even had a chance, even after missing the first battle. This nigga was so bad that he could miss a battle, it get reset. I ain't say he missed it, whatever. Gigi, whatever happened, didn't happen. The battle didn't happen. The battle could not happen. This nigga could reschedule it, come see you a month later, and you still ain't have nothing worth reacting to. And I was saying that the other day, right? I was like, yo, what's up with the Harlem niggas? The Harlem niggas, y'all don't spar no more? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't sparring? Y'all ain't getting together? Like, y'all ain't making sure that niggas' materials is tight? But I'll say this. No, uh, you know, a lot of fans is reacting to caffeine, $25, you know what I'm saying, uh, to unlock kings versus queen, the gold trinkets and coins or whatever the case may be. And as we know, a lot of people was not happy with that, you know what I mean? Like, especially finding out a week before the event, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's way too short of a time. I don't care what nobody says. You can't tell nobody how they're going to spend their bread or if they're going to. Now, I hear people out there arguing, saying, oh, if they ain't got $25, we'll do, we'll do, we'll. But you really don't know people's situation, you know what I'm saying? I've been around a lot of people. I've spoke to a lot of people who, you know, their situations don't really be, you know what I'm saying? They don't really be what, what it could be, you know what I mean? Niggas is working hard out here, but sometimes shit don't happen. And I've met people in this game, and I've helped people out, but it doesn't matter. It's like, yo, <laughs> God bless. 
but you can't, I'm not gonna down somebody for not having it or not wanting to spend it. If mother got two, three kids and their wife is working, they working and they grinding, and they gotta meet, make ends meet, you think she got money for them to be wasting like to see battle rap? Especially when it was promoted as something free? That's another thing y'all gonna have to get to get around. And you know, it's just it's just crazy right now. You know what I mean? If, if you're gonna have us paying, we don't we, we don't wanna be paying for chokes. So y'all better get some rehearsals going. These niggas must have missed choir practice or something. The niggas up there choking. They must have missed rehearsals or something, because those are the first two battles that I've seen off the card. So that don't even really make me rush to see nothing else. I'm like, yo, I seen this battle choke. I watched that battle choke. I'm not, not this battle choke. That battle of material is not good. I'm like, bro, what are we doing here? It's two joints already. How many joints is on the card? Two of them is like, not even worth it. I seen people like Chef Trez promoting, which makes me want to watch his joint versus John John. I seen John John promoting. That's good. A lot of these artists is not even promoting their battles. They go out their way to defend uh, $25 pay-per-view or defend why Easy the Black Captain needed the app to blow. They go out their fucking way to defend that stuff. But they don't even be promoting their own battles. It's like, yo, your battle is out on the app right now. So you want us to recap it. You want us to make it bigger. You want us to, like, pipe you up. And you're not even promoting your own battle. Why, why, why would we do it? Like, why am I going to do it? If your battle just came out, when I jump on the algorithm, I should see you. I should see you without even having to look. Okay, yeah, they, they, they doing their job, they doing their thing, they doing their thing, but if you ain't promoting, what you want What you want everybody else to do? And I'm the, I don't even know how many people have even spoke on this event, because so many people don't even know about it or something. I haven't even been hit up. Like when, this is how you know, if you want to know, dear battle rappers, if you want to know if your battle is hot, if you want to know if it's, like in the past four or five years, I must say, if you want to know your battle's hot, if a lot of motherfuckers is recapping. If people are recapping, I ain't just talking about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about everybody that, that. Like, people that don't even do bar for bar breakdowns or recap battles, but blog or do media is trying to recap your battle and trying to let people know. Like, me, y'all know my handle. I ain't in me, SP, you know, SP. Come on. Like, 1A, 1, like, this guy is like one of the best ever with the breakdown of every bar, blah, 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 blah. Get you. Man, you know what he do. Like, I ain't even got to, to, to say too much, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know. It comes to that breakdown, it is what, <laughs> yeah, we do that here. So, and then I can flip to the news side. That's why a lot of the time when I talk about stuff like this really quick, news stuff, it's usually me. I'm not going to drag him off work and have him come over here just to do this. You know what I'm saying? I could pass it to him and he could pass it to me. So, if people's not recapping your battles, it's not, it's not lit. I promise you. They're going to talk about some shit that's buzzing. Like, if it got a buzz, if it's hot, People are talking about it. Why do you think people are still talking about this million view and now 1.3 million view battle? Y'all niggas, I ain't got to say what battle it was. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about this. You know what battle. Booming right now. Everybody's talking about it. Keeps the, keeps the people going. It's provocative. It's the talk of the town. Niggas got a whole event that just happened. And like, <laughs> y'all see how it's being received? Do y'all see how it's being received? And it's not just me. This joint came out a day or two ago, and I ain't said nothing about it. This is the first time I'm saying something about it. You see how it's being received. Kings vs. Queens. It's basically getting zero promotion. Like, really, the promotion is so weak that nobody barely even chatting about it. I had one of my homies today, man, with some real, 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 real serious influence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about big name. Because, you know, in the battle rap shit, you, get a, uh, you meet a lot of good people. You know what I'm saying? You know, athletes. Rappers, producers, movie stars, you meet all type of people just by doing what you do that are fans of what you do. Like Jay Farrell, I never thought I would like have a conversation with Jay Farrell and he's like talking to me about watching my shit. And I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like cats that I watch on, 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 on YouTube or different shit like that that know who I am. But anyway, this cat had, has major influence and sent me this. Kings vs. Queens has zero promo, none. More people talking about the price of the pay-per-view than the event. And y'all wonder why I'm off battle rap. Ha ha ha. Like seriously, who wants to watch something where the media promotes but the actual participants say nothing? Like, <laughs> this is real shit. Like, this is how the general public feels. Like, we doing more promotion than the niggas who's on the card. And that shouldn't work like that. Y'all don't pay us. Y'all don't pay us. Y'all don't pay us no mind. Y'all probably don't follow us on social media. Y'all don't rock with us. And it's cool. But at the same time, don't be tripping when we the ones that's talking about all of the dumb shit that's going on. You know? There's no incentive to do. What, what incentive is there? <laughs> and I don't want to be incentivized. Let's just, <laughs> let's just keep it there. But, uh, you know, it's like, <laughs> we're paying for what? Which battles on here is a standout? Matter of fact, I'm going to go even further for you. 
Which one? Salute to Geechee Gotti and salute to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Geechee and salute to Swamp. They did their thing, you know, bearing the circumstances of the MCs that they faced. But how many performances off this card were better than what a -Ward just did versus Vixen? How many? Off the whole card, I ain't even see the rest of the battles, but I really know I ain't got to. Because by the way this was leveling out, I could tell how many of them. How many? And everybody got so much stuff to say, a -Ward this, a -Ward that, but he's performing better than them than the whole card. Am I lying? <laughs> he's outperforming the whole card. He's outperforming most of the MCs on the card. Maybe one or two. You just got to blew this nigga out the water, so you know, that, that was crazy, but other than that, I ain't got two, three MCs that outperformed a -Ward on the pay-per-view. And um, finally, battle rap leagues all around. All of you niggas, not just URL. Every single one of y'all have to know that there's competition now. Here is competition. Y'all gonna just have to understand that. There is alternatives. There is competition. So you're gonna have to be right. Events gonna have to be right. Pay per views gonna have to be right. Audio gonna have to be right. Like everything gonna have to be A1. Because if you niggas got three events in one month, and this league right here that had two bad events after month after month, guess what? <laughs> when the next one come around, I'm gonna take my little $50 over here and go rock with them. Well, I'm gonna go rock with that because I can't. It can't be 50, 50, 50, three cars. That's $150 a month. Now you really, I'm talking about all these. So y'all really got to strategically plan. You got to have some fire on there. Now their cards have to be better. Now the events have to be better. The battles have to be better. They can't be out here just risking and take booking bad battles. Who gonna want that? Nobody's gonna want that. So, cause like like coming up, you got kings versus queens. Now it's a pay per view. It's twenty five dollars, whatever the case may be. If you want to copy, copy it. I ain't. It is what it is. I think the rollout was fucking horrible. Niggas can't just. Hey, Y'all went out your way. You know what I'm saying. You go out your way to do everything else to let niggas know. You know when easy come and all this other shit. You guys had the time. You know what I'm saying. Y'all had the time to let people know, and you didn't let them know. You know what I'm saying. So it is what it is. But you know, you can't be mad if people talk about it. You can't be mad if people talk about it because you're a product. People are digging in their card wallets and pulling out their cards and paying for it. And they want top quality product. They want the niggas to be nice. Who wants the boys stay sad? Like, and the thing is, these events be so long. It's like, you're spending your whole Saturday, and niggas be out there choking and stumbling. It's like, oh boy, bro, like, bring your fucking A game, especially if niggas' bread is involved. Geechee Gotti, 3 0. Um, Swamp, 3 0. Um, ain't no way around it. I mean, I hope I get back to you with some more of these joints, but I didn't even need to get no bars from none of their battles. I mean, when y'all do that, Choke like that, it actually makes my job easier because I ain't got to write no bars down or nothing. It's just like, look, this is what happened and then they got choked. Or this nigga had three rounds and nobody reacted to none of them. That is the truth. And I'm going to still try to talk about some of the um, app release battles or whatever the case may be because I know if I don't talk about them, pff, niggas might talk about them, but ain't nobody really going, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, and, and they want to see what I'm going to say. And SP is going to say. But I'm not having SP come over to break down battles and do bars and shit when the battle is not good. Like, I, I could just tell you who won and that's just gonna be the end of it. Like, why am I giving an effort that the fucking MCs is not? <laughs> These niggas won't even retweet your shit. These niggas don't fuck with you like that. They won't even retweet your shit when you give them a lot of props and admiration. So it really don't even be worth it. It's like, come on, man. Not overworking for niggas. Like, for what? They ain't even doing the job themselves. So, you know, it's a lot of tightening up that gotta be done. But I am happy of the, com the con com competition. happy with the competition between these leagues because I like to see niggas work hard I like to see niggas put out good product you know what I'm saying when all the leagues are thriving you get good events when it's only one league thriving they can monopolize the situation and give you what they want no you, you don't you're not, you're not getting no spaghetti it's only pizza it's the only thing we got to eat when the spaghetti is pizza it's hamburgers niggas can kind of choose what they want but anyway uh, salute to every single one of y'all get up out of here enjoy my day I got this I actually did this last night you know what I'm saying to, to, to get it out when it is you know, gang. Then I'm here with dog, I am him. It could be most clear, dog, I am him. I'm stony, but I said it all. Clear like I said it all. My soul, oh my God, I am him. Every day I wake up, gotta get my cake up. A lot of shit be going down, gotta keep my head up.